Hi guys, welcome back to our Gregory home. Today I'm going to be showing you how I created this very fun and very festive Easter tablescape. How I made this weaved table runner and how I made these utensil holders. And lastly, how I created these little bunny ear napkins. If you would like to see how I did it, stay tuned. First I'm going to use this Mrs. Meyers cleaning spray in just a normal cloth. I'm going to spray down the table and just wipe it down, make sure it's nice and clean. Don't you guys wish you could clean this fast? I do. For the table runner, I'm going to be using this huge roll of jute webbing that was sent to me by burlapfabric.com. Look how huge this thing is. You can do so many projects with this roll. It's as big as my face. Their website has so many amazing burlap options, wedding options. They even have bulk orders and some really awesome burlap coffee bags. I will leave their link down below so you guys can check them out. For my table runner, I cut four strips lengthwise along the table, making sure that they were all the same size. Then once I cut them, I laid them all flat side by side. Now for the strips that you're going to weave, measure how long you'd like them. I decided to keep mine hanging off just slightly. Now I just cut a bunch of those strips the exact same size. Now once the strips are cut, you're just going to weave them in and out of the, the longer strips that you cut previously. So you can see here the first row I did, I started above and then went under and then above and under and then for the second row I went under and above, under and above, and so on and so forth. Now for decorating. So I got these placemats at Target. They were $6.99 each. And I'm going to be using that as kind of the base for the centerpiece. Now I made this little nest and it's going to be in a video coming soon. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. Now these cute little bunnies I also did in a video. And I will have that video linked in the iCard above. Now to give this a little bit more color, I found these picks of the Dollar Tree and I'm just spreading those out and laying them underneath the little egg basket. I think this is so simple, but it's so beautiful. I can't wait to have family dinner around this. And I think, I think the jute webbing just gives it a very cute, very farmhouse look. So now for the table setting, I'm using those same placemats and I got these chargers at Target. They were on clearance around Christmas time and they're this very cool galvanized metal. Now this little bunny napkin holder place card setting, I made these cement eggs and then I wrote our names on them. And then with for the napkins, I got these at the Target dollar spot and they were actually 70% off. So I got four of them for like a dollar. It was a really good deal. So to make the bunny ears, you're just going to take the napkin and you're going to fold it end to end or corner to corner and then you're just going to roll up the bottom. Once it's all rolled up, you're going to take that little egg and then you're just going to bring the two sides up and then you're going to take some jute string and just tie it around the very top of the egg. Now I just tied it once so that it was easy to pull off and so they could actually use the napkins. And there you go, it does look like a cute little bunny. These Easter eggs were very easy to make as well. I actually took a real chicken egg and just cut a little teeny tiny little hole in the top and then, then I blew the yolk out and just filled it with cement. It was very easy. Now for these little utensil holders, I used the same exact jute webbing that I used for the table runner. These were so simple to, to make and no sewing involved. So what I did is I took some forks just for measuring and once I figured out how tall I wanted to make it, I cut several pieces of that jute webbing. Now once all my jute webbing was cut, what I'm doing here is just kind of straightening out the edges and then I'm just taking my hot glue gun and gluing it down where I had placed that fold. Now once the one is done, I'm using it as kind of a measurement to do the others. Now I'm just taking some of that jute string that I used to tie the little bunny napkins and I'm going to be gluing that on the back 
And then I'm going to be tying a little bow. So I glue it on the back there and then I tie a little bow on the front. These were so simple and I think they give it such a cute and farmhouse look. So here's what it looks like with the flatware in it. So this gold flatware my parents got for their wedding and I just think it's absolutely beautiful. We don't use it that often because you have to hand wash it and it's kind of a pain to hand wash but on special occasions like Easter, Christmas, any holiday I love to use these. So here's what it looks like all put together. Some of the plates I decided to put the utensil holder directly on top. Some of them are on next to it. I'm trying to decide which one I like better. But here's how it turned out. What do you guys think? This table runner is absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited that the company sent me this product to make this amazing thing to show you guys. The material is so nice and they have amazing prices. If you guys want to check them out, I will have everything linked down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little Easter table setting. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you join our Gregory home. So thank you so much for watching. Remember to always be creative, be unique, and most importantly, be yourself. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.